Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I live and work in central Scotland. And today I am taking part in the first video hop with the Smart Stamping International Hops group. So they already this group already do Facebook hops and Instagram hops and they've just added on YouTube hops so let's hope that the YouTube hops are going to be a success so if you once you have watched my video if you go into the description box below press the show more show but more but goodness start again the more if you press more it'll open up and you'll get the list of all the other people taking part in this hop now our theme today is the new mini cat well it's not so new now but the mini catalogue the september to jack what's it called i would just call it the winter mini <laughs> it was like september to december mini catalogue this one so i've selected a few products from it one being i just want to get this out of my way um season of elegance designer series paper it's got gold foiling on it it's I, th I only had a half shade of a pack i think and i don't have enough well i do have a few bits left but i've used all the real red and so i chose to go with a bit of green today there's mossy meadow in there and old olive so i've got old olive ink out here i've done some die cutting from reindeer fun dies so this is a lovely bundle it's a real fun bundle so if you some of the dies i'm just using one stamp in this card and that's the merry christmas stamp um so I'll pop them to the side because i'll show you which dies i used as we go and i will be using this quite a lot in my future videos so i will show you i think i might be doing one in my quick card my easy card series I've also pulled out um, Peaceful Evergreens but forgot that my tree stamps are already on blocks because I was using them and they're not properly clean so we'll just give them a quick, it's green that's on them so it's not too bad. They were sitting in the tub waiting to be cleaned and I had misplaced where I'd put the stamp set so I kept them there until I found a stamp set, just you know how it is with me. I'm sure all the other people in this hop will be way more organised than I am. But anyway, I've got the two trees here from Peaceful Evergreens. I may use the snow, I'm not sure. I'm just wanting to add some texture. So basically, I'm going to do tone on tone stamping. I've got, this is one of the dies from the Reindeer Fun in it. So you could just either way up. And I've cut out this fun little chap. So you've got three dies. And so you cut one in the dark, the one dark colour that you want the antlers to be showing. Then you've got this white layer. And then when you pop this one on, doesn't that bring him to life? So he's just cute. It's just a, a reindeer bust, I guess you call it. So he can be peeking out of there with this sort of trees that way, or it could be just peeking through the forest. Well, um, so we'll decide what way he goes it's going to be this way though but we'll decide whether he's straight or at an angle I'll pop him together so I've got this as my top layer I've got a piece of that designer series paper I showed you I've got a strip for the sentiment and I've got a card base and I'm sure I can find a white layer for inside the card but let's just have a look at getting some texture on here so we've got gold filing on the paper at the back so i just want to add some texture and i just thought tone on tone stamping with the old olive on the old with these trees because they are quite these are distinctive stamps so just hopefully this will work i hadn't checked it or tested it i just decided to do it maybe 
this giving a bit of foresty feel to the card base. It's not really, it's just texture. I'm just using this for, and then actually I will use the one that's kind of a snowy look, this stamp. And just, and just add some texture on the top here. Just didn't want a plain, a plain green. Oh, I think I made enough of an inky mess, so let's just pop these back up. We could have used an embossing folder to add texture. There's lots of other ways. I just think, well, I've got stamps, let's use them. So close that bit up. The other bit of stamping I need to do is here for the sentiment and I've got the Merry Christmas. I'm going to take that off there because I put that on by hand but do you know what? Let it relax because it's photopolymer, it stretches. Let it relax and then pick it up with the block and that does look much straighter. That's not no guarantee that I'll get it stamp it straight but hey we start off with it straight that's a start isn't it so i've just cut a strip of card one and a half centimeters here so it's quite exciting taking part in the first hop as you know i do other video hops but um it's nice to take part in one that someone else is organizing and uh, yeah so let's see how that goes Okay, so I've got my sticky ink here, my Vesta mark. I'm just going to. So I've used my emboss buddy. I don't think I said that. Whoops. And I've just banged the camera. I hope that's okay. And I'm just going to put this in the middle because I might do a bit of something on the edge. I don't know yet. And it will be squint, but we'll call it an artistic angle. It's not bad. And of course. I've got my tray. I didn't get organised. Or, I don't know where my tray is, but I've got scrap paper here. This will do the thing. I do have a really nice tray, tray but when you change from one colour of embossing powder to the other, that can be a bit of a, an issue. And this is the Wow Gold that we now stock in the annual catalogue. This is from the annual catalogue, this one. So it's the ink and the card, but hey. I did show you some nice new products, the Reindeer Fun and the Season of Elegance foiled paper. Right, we'll just uh, we'll pop this back into the pot. Just want to, I don't want to be too long making this card because I don't want my video to be too long. And that's why I did prep because if our videos are too long, you won't you won't get round the hop. So I want you to be able to see what the others have done. So just cover your ears. I'm about to put on my heat tool. tired of that process so right let's put everything together so the next challenge is find a glue that works actually because i'm done stamping and i'm boxing i'm just going to take this dirty sheet away i find it all a bit distracting so first of all pop the white layer 
on. So I've used the early espresso, white and pecan pie. But there's various ideas of, you know, you could use pink for this layer and you could use greys. Well, you know, you could have red reindeer. There's nothing, you know, this is just a fictional reindeer. Pardon me. I might have used a bit too much glue there. Talking and not paying attention. So... And I've now got sticky fingers because it came out the ear. He's got glue ear. <laughs> Poor thing. He's got a bit of glue ear. No, I just gave him it. Less glue this time, Janice. It's just too cute. I bought the stamp set at pre-order and didn't buy the dies. Well, they hadn't arrived in the UK when I did my pre-order and I thought I didn't need them. But do you know what? Once I saw people using them, I thought, oh, I need them. I need a bit of that fun. So how cute. And there's a wreath that you can cut out to put around his neck. But I'm kind of, kind of going for a more of an, I think a sort of elegant look with the gold and green. That's my plan. Whether it'll work or not, I don't know. So let's glue the, this layer down. Look at that. Um, it looks like it's been paint that's been put on with a palette knife. Look at the texture and that. That's a great. But I did this time just want to have a bit of gold foiling in the background. It's quite a regal kind of card. And who doesn't leak like green and gold together? So that is going to go there. And I do think that I'm just going to glue this layer down. I could, you could put it on with dimensionals, but because it's likely to be going through the post and I will put the sentiment on with dimensionals. So what I'm going to do is not put glue too close to this bit here so that I can tuck him in. So I have some glue around here. No, that was maybe just a wee bit in these thicker bits here. Just, just be selective where you put it because you don't want it oozing out all over the place. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here and then just tuck him in behind the branches. But I think we'll have him at a kind of a, a more jaunty angle, do you think? Pull him up just a little so we can see his nose. There we go. That's fine, we'll just leave it like that. There we go. And then I'm just quite simply going to pop this all in here with dimensionals. I've got I thought I had a, I thought I had some out. left on my desk from yesterday. I started tidying up and then I thought, no, I need to just get on with this. Right, so. Definitely need one in the middle. And one at the end. Now, I just pop, take the backs off.
I did put the little bit of glue on the dimensionals there just so that I could get it straight. And then we now with that a peaceful evergreen sweet. No, the oh Janice, <laughs> there goes the same. Yeah, this with the season of elegance rather. But that is this peaceful evergreens part of that suite. There's these gold textured adhesive back dots. Well, they haven't arrived with me yet. Um, there's a bit of a hold up with some parcels for the UK. Um, and mine had to be in amongst it. It's all sort of fixed, but mine still isn't here yet. So don't. it's not an issue for everyone. It's just a one. Anyway stamping up our sort in it so and uh, these ones are very similar they're from a kit don't ask me which kit <laughs> left over from a kit these ones um and they were in my drawer and i thought well they're similar-ish these are a bit glossier i think but they're just right I want to put no I'll just have one there it's just because I got to an even number there and I can't have that right okay so there we go that is my project I have used the reindeer fun bundle peaceful evergreen stamp set and the season of elegance designer series paper so thank you so much for checking, coming and watching today. If you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe. Please press the bell icon to get notified when I'm coming on again. And please do go down into the description box, push the more button and go and check out all the lovely hoppers. You'll get such a lot of um, inspiration to get on with all your crafting. Thank you so much. Bye bye.